Good evening and welcome to the January 2nd, 2019 organizational meeting of the Town Board. I'd like to wish everyone a very happy new year to you and your families. I'll ask that you please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And I'll ask our clerk to please call the roll. Cole. Here. The Fountain. Here. Metzler. Here. Moore. Here. Quinn. Here. Thank you. Uh, this evening we're going to start off. We have two public hearings. I'm going to ask our clerk to please read the legal for the first public hearing. To consider an amendment to Chapter 220, Vehicles and Traffic of the Code <clears throat> of the Town of Penfield. The legal notice was published in the Penfield Post on December 13th, 19, 2018, posted on the town's website and town clerk bulletin board. No postcards were mailed due to this being a town-wide function. Right. Thank you. Mr. Horowitz, is this uh, properly before the board? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you very much. I'd ask at this time, uh, uh, Mr. Horowitz, maybe if you would just take a, a moment uh, just to briefly highlight uh, this. This is a, just a minor change. Uh, to that uh, section uh, of the code, and if you wouldn't mind just... Yes, this is uh, a completion of a recodification process to provide an amendment to the code to provide for uh, handicapped parking uh, to continue to be a violation of the laws, not only of the state, but also the local vehicle and traffic law of Penfield. And I would heartily uh, request that we support this resolution. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Um, I'll ask uh, the board any questions or comments on uh, this modification, codification to uh, the ordinance. No. Okay, um, then I'll ask, is there anyone in the audience that has signed up to speak to this particular public hearing? No, they have not. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the board on this particular public hearing? Okay, seeing no comments and uh, no further comments uh, from the board, I'll declare this public hearing closed and I'll ask uh, the clerk to please read the legal for the second public hearing. To consider the adoption of an ordinance entitled Registration of Defaulted Mortgage and Vacant Property. The legal notice was published in the Penfield Post on December 13, 2018. Posted on the <coughs> town's website and town clerk bulletin board. No. Postcards were mailed due to this being a townwide action. Right, thank you very much. And again, Mr. Horowitz, um, any uh, is this properly before the board? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. And uh, again, I will look to uh, yourself or possibly Mr. Uh, Costello, but uh, look to yourself initially if uh, you would uh, offer up a few comments on this uh, particular uh, supplement uh, to the code. Certainly. Uh, this um, uh, proposed ordinance is in response to a growing public need, public health and safety need regarding homes that are vacant or in foreclosure that uh, are not being properly maintained. And by this ordinance, the town of Penfield uh, um, seeks to adopt a registration of all these kinds of properties. Uh, it has requirements uh, in the ordinance that banks uh, register these mortgages that are in default, um, that there are security measures, uh, bonds, letters of credit to secure the proper maintenance of these uh, uh, structures that can cause blight and um, bad conditions in neighborhoods and depreciate property values. And again, uh, I am entirely supportive of this ordinance and hope the board uh, will be also. All right. Thank you. I'll ask uh, the board uh, any additional uh, comments. <coughs> We've discussed this at uh, work session and uh, vetted that out. Uh, any additional questions or comments uh, either for uh, Mr. Horowitz or Mr. Costello? I'll just make a comment that this certainly addresses a need and an issue that is brought to my attention quite frequently by residents with respect to properties in their neighborhood that have been abandoned via foreclosure and the banks who are um, holding it either in, holding it for auction or holding it for sale 
um, have not done anything to or done enough to maintain the properties. It's certainly a safety hazard as well. We've had um, some safety issues. So um, I think that this ordinance fully addresses that problem and it will enable the town to have some teeth in enforcement of maintaining these properties. Great, thank you. Additional discussions, comments? Yeah, just real quickly, Mr. Supervisor, I'd like to thank you for bringing this matter forward. I know as a town board, we've talked about this issue for the last couple months, certainly making this one of our priorities um, this year um, is something that I think is a good step forward for the town. As Councilwoman Metzler mentioned, you know, from time to time, this board um, passes resolutions uh, to go and take care of properties that are not being maintained uh, by absentee owners, whether it's foreclosure or whatever it is, um, on properties that uh, residents have brought to our attention um, that is just bringing down a neighborhood, whether it's property values or what was said before, blight, uh, deterioration of the home, both um, landscaping wise, but also um, on the exterior of the property. Um, unfortunately, municipalities um, have their arms tied behind their back, uh, being towns basically have their arms tied behind their back on some of these properties um, with uh, banks or lending institutions that are in California or Arizona or Texas or Oregon out on the West Coast that, uh, you know, Roche or Penfield's just one of thousands that they're dealing with. And this will really help us get these properties under control and uh, you know, hopefully take care of this matter a little bit more aggressively than what we could without this measure. So I, I appreciate you bringing this forward. I think it's the right thing to do for the residents of Penfield and I look forward to um, taking action on this in a few minutes. Okay, thank you. Other comments, board? All right. I'll ask, has anyone signed up to speak uh, on this particular public hearing? They have not. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address uh, this particular public hearing that is before the board? Okay, seeing none and uh, seeing no further uh, discussion or comments, I'll declare this uh, public hearing closed. Thank you. Moving on the agenda, we'll move on to uh, communications and announcements. And uh, this evening, I'll start uh, with uh, some first of the year uh, information uh, and uh, housekeeping. Uh, so uh, this letter uh, was sent to the board uh, at the end of the year. This is the first of the year appointments. <clears throat> and as provided in state law, in state uh, town law, I make the following appointments and assignments at the special organizational meeting this Wednesday, January 2nd. <clears throat> one term, one year term, deputy town uh, supervisor is Andy Moore. The following town boards uh, committees will be established at this uh, meeting. Uh, community service uh, that will be uh, chaired by Linda Cole. Law and finance by Andy Moore. Public safety, Rob Quinn. Public works, Paula Metzler. Uh, the following town liaisons to other boards and organizations are effective for 2019. Uh, Penfield uh, volunteer ambulance and NEQALS. Uh, will be Rob Quinn, Board of Assessment Review will be myself, Cable TV, Andy Moore, Conservation Board, Paula Metzler, Energy Environmental Advisory Committee, uh, myself, the Fire Districts, uh, Rob Quinn and uh, myself, Friends of Dayton's Corners uh, Schoolhouse, Linda Cole, Health and Wellness Committee uh, will be myself, Historic Preservation Board, Paula Metzler, uh, the following homeowners associations have uh, been registered with the town. Allen's Creek Homeowners Association, East Penfield Homeowners Association. Those associations will be represented by the entire town board. Uh, Justice Courts, Paula Metzler, Library Board, Local History Room, Advisory Board, Linda Cole. Uh, Monroe County Sheriff and State Police, uh, Rob Quinn and myself. Penfield Business Chamber, uh, myself. Penfield Little League, Andy Moore. Penfield Symphony Orchestra will be Linda Cole. Penfield Youth Council, Rob Quinn. Planning Board will be myself. School Districts will be Linda Cole and myself. Senior Citizens will be myself. Transportation, Andy Moore. Um, Transportation Committee. Uh, and uh, Veterans uh, Organizations will be Rob Quinn. And the Zoning Board of Appeals will be Paula Metzler. 
Additionally, I've received uh, my annual uh, note from the town clerk and uh, effective uh, the first of the year, she's identified a one-year term for deputy town clerk, Lisa S. Grosser. Uh, office clerk three is Susan M. Scheidt. Um, I will now uh, recognize um, Linda Cole for her uh, communications. Oh, am I the only one with a communication? Um, I think so. Okay. I'm recognizing you for Thank you. communications. Thank you. Well, it's my community chat. I have once a month, and my uh, first one of the year is January 15th, and it'll be over in the library at 5:30 to 7. It's a new book area. If anybody wants to stop by and visit and talk about any issues you have to chat about or uh, whatever, I'm there and ready to talk. Thank you. All right. Absolutely. And uh, just a couple of quick reminders. Uh, we are collecting uh, Christmas trees at uh, DPW at 1607 Jackson Road. That's an annual item that uh, we do. Uh, you can uh, drop off your Christmas tree at any time. Uh, as you're going into the entrance uh, to the right, uh, you'll see a pile of trees and a sign. And uh, all those uh, trees will be ground up uh, in our mulch pile and uh, offered up uh, to our residents uh, as we head into the spring and summer of uh, 2019. And we'll have our usual pile here uh, just, uh, just west of the town hall. Additionally, uh, I'm reminded by uh, Eco Park uh, in the County of Monroe that uh, uh, holiday lights that no longer work, uh, please recycle them. Uh, they can be dropped off at uh, Eco Park. Uh, they're encouraged not to put in your garbage uh, that goes to the landfill. And uh, also, uh, many hardware stores, uh, we understand, also accept lights uh, for recycling. Mm -hmm. So that's the extent of our communications this evening. Um, <clears throat> we'll move on to public participation. There are two opportunities to address the board on any matter at this time. You can do that in one of three ways uh, if you're here uh, in the audience. Uh, you can call in at 340-8771 or you can log on at uh, penfield.org. And I'll ask our clerk, has anyone signed up to speak this evening? No one has signed up. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the board at this time on any matter? Okay, Ed, Ed Linscoop, 40 Willow Pond Way. <laughs> Happy New Year, Ed. Uh, I've been working with the town for a while on uh, a sidewalk system that's in the Willow Pond community. It, it looks like it was developed when uh, Legacy was built. Uh, it connects all the cul-de-sacs to each other uh, in the back of the community and out onto Willow Pond Way. There doesn't seem to be any maintenance agreement in place for this and it's on, all on private property. Uh, I've had discussions with uh, Mr. Costello uh, there's a water problem. I sent him a whole uh, re a raft of pictures. He has them on his file. And the, the stone dust sidewalk that was there is practically obliterated because the grass has just all grown in now. And uh, I facilitated with Jim's uh, putting some benches in there for everybody to enjoy. Uh, the owner tried to restrict the public access because uh, they didn't want people trespassing on their property, so they put signs up, and the town was informed and through the neighbor when the neighbors uh, complained that that was not appropriate. That was open for public use. Mm -hmm. uh, its address is number 25, Willow Pond Way. If they wanted to post no trespassing signs, it could be done at number 40, which is... Uh, which is their property. Which is their property also. Uh, the residents were complaining to management that people were walking by uh, their apartments very close to their apartments because that was the only sidewalk that was available. They were walking dogs and riding bikes and that kind of stuff. So, uh, I suggested to management that they do a public meeting with the neighbors and the residents and uh, that fell on deaf ears. So I took it, the lead and set one up myself and invited the neighbors and uh, people from the community and uh, Mr. Costello and nobody from management showed up, but we had a great public meeting. Uh, it seems like we've addressed some of the issues, but uh, we, we need some more help with the town, and we need to figure out some way to maintain the, the property year-round so that people can walk through there in the wintertime. Uh, a lot of the uh, kids that they hire live in the neighborhood, 
and use it uh, as an access to get back and forth to work. And also it's an opportunity if people don't, don't, don't want to walk the dogs on the road because there are no other sidewalks on Willow Pond Way at all uh, to walk in that area, which, which they do frequently. So I'll look at, be looking forward to some further discussion to see what we can do to resolve this issue. Okay, all Thank right. You. But uh, management of Willow Pond, uh, excuse me, management of uh, Legacy uh, hasn't been willing to... Uh, they haven't spent any money there at all. Got no. it. Uh, we're on our second maintenance director, who was the maintenance director before, and he seems more willing to work with Jim and, and me, but he, he doesn't but have he a budget his, to do he anything takes outside. marching orders from uh, their corporate office. Well, yeah, probably through uh, Michelle. But, sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, we certainly will 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 certainly assist any way we can, recognizing it is private property. But uh, we'll we'll assist any way that we can. Are you uh, aware of uh, any corporate offers for uh, watermark in the area? I, I'm I'm aware Ed, that their corporate office is in Arizona. I'm not aware of anything locally um, okay. in in this area. I I think they have a I think they have a division someplace in New York. <clears throat> okay. uh, but uh, I don't think uh, within Monroe County. Okay. At least that's the best information I've got. Thank you. Well, that's more than I've got. Okay. Thank you. All right, Ed. Yeah. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to address the board on any matter? Okay, we'll move on to additions and deletions to the agenda, and I'll recognize Councilman Moore. Uh, Mr. Supervisor, I would like to introduce tonight three resolutions. Um, I'm going to read all three resolutions, uh, if I can, starting with 19T-056. This resolution is entitled Adoption of Amendment to Chapter 2200 Vehicle and Traffic Code of the Town of Penfield. Second resolution is en entitled 19T-057. And that one is the adoption of an ordinance entitled Registration of Default Mortgage and Vacant Properties. And then the third resolution, 19T-058, entitled Authorization for Supervisor to Sign Agreement with Property Registration Champions, LLC. And with that, Mr. Supervisor, I would ask for a second I on second. all three of these motions. I second the Or all three of three. these uh, resolutions, sorry. Okay. Uh, then we have it, uh, a motion uh, and a second. Uh, those will be added uh, under new business at uh, the end of our agenda. Okay. And if you could give me uh, about 30 seconds, I'd la like to pass these resolutions out to the town board. That, uh, that would be great. Uh, okay. The board uh, can, uh, can have those, and then we'll be ready uh, at the end of... Uh, the end of the regular agenda. Are you getting one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so the first one is uh, uh, 56. Yep. The one that I just handed yep. you is 057, 056, and, and this one will be the third one will be 058. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you. Okay. Um, we will um, next uh, move on to approval of minutes. The board has the December 5th, 2018 minutes uh, before you, and I would entertain a motion of approval for those minutes. I move that the minutes of December 5th be approved. I'll second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? See no discussion at this point. Uh, I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Next item, uh, petitions. Uh, has the town board, town attorney, or town clerk received any petitions since the last time that we have met? Okay, seeing none. We'll move on to resolution uh, by function. We'll start with law and finance. I'll ask our clerk to read the titles of all of the law and finance uh, consecutively, please. Okay, number one, uh, law and finance. Adoption of town board rules of procedure mm -hmm. for 2019. Two, bonding of town officials and employees. 
three, appointment of second deputy receiver of taxes, four, banking arrangements for the town of Penfield for 2019, five, authorization for the town controller to attend the annual meeting of the New York State GFOA, Number six, setting 2019 salary for chairs and members of the Planning, Zoning, uh, Conservation, and Historic Preservation Boards. Number seven, authorization for contract with council to town attorney. Eight, authorization to sign contracts with court stenographer. Nine, authorize a supervisor to sign lease agreement with the Eastside Area Annex. Uh, 10, authorization for a town supervisor to sign a professional service contract with Bartlett Lujudis for environmental services for 2019. To, uh, number 11, appointments to ethics board. 12, employee handbook <coughs> revisions. 13, setting holidays for non-union employees for 2019. 14, setting holidays for union employees for 2019. 15, naming of the labor relations consultant to the town of Penfield. 16, setting rate for reimbursement of mileage. 17, monthly reports to town board. 18, authorization for supervisor to sign an agreement with the Northeast Quadrant Advanced Life Support, Nicole's Inc. 19, designation of official newspapers for 2019. Town uh, 20 town membership in various organizations in 2019. 21 continuation of petty cash funds. 22 appointments to the planning board. 23 appointment of chair to the planning board. 24 adoption of wage and salary schedule and appointment of officials and employees for 2019. 25, Resolution 18T-073, 2019 Town Update Modification. 26, Authorization for Town Board to Modify Resolution 18T-079 for the Supervisor to Extend the Professional Service Contract with Dave Miller of AVS for the 2020 Townwide Update. 27, Kevin Smink, Sherrod M. Hamlin Smink, Tax Certiary State, uh, Settlement. 28, Panera LLC, Tax Certiary Settlement. 29, Appointment of Zoning Board of Appeals. 30, Appointment of Zoning Board of Appeals. 31, Appointment of Chair, Zoning Board of Appeals. Thank you. All right, Mr. Supervisor, um, just, motion, I'm sorry. Uh, I'd like to move Second. these agenda items. Second. Okay. Um, before moving forward, Mr. Supervisor, I just would like to note uh, for the record that many of these resolutions are our standard resolutions that we do every single year at the organizational meeting. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of touch on a couple of them. Um, one being, you know, bonding of town officials and employees that's pretty much required that each one of us gets bonded um, and other town officials do so. Um, you know, banking institutions that the town uses, um, authorizing the town controller to attend uh, an annual conference, uh, the New York State Government Finance Officers Association Conference in Albany. Um, setting stipends for a planning board, zoning board, conservation board, and a historic preservation board. Um, moving down, uh, signing a contract for a court stenographer for our uh, judges. Uh, the East Side Annex uh, contract um, at 1587 Jackson Road. Um, environmental services, the town has a engineering uh, service or engineering, co engineering company uh, on contract for that with Barton and LeJudas for environmental services for 2019 should the town need their assistance. Um, ethics board, Tracy Easterly, our HR director, uh, John Hannity and Steve Pello, Penfield residents to serve on that ethics board. Um, as always, employee handbook gets updated with uh, different state regulations and laws that get passed to make sure that is current and updated. Um, setting the holidays for both our non-union and union employees and so forth. So thank you. I would like to move all of those items 
yeah. uh, forward tonight. Thank you. Discussion board on any of the any of the first uh, 31 resolutions. Seeing no discussion, I'd ask uh, for a roll call vote for resolutions uh, uh, 001 through 031. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Public Works. Number 32, appointments to the <clears throat> Conservation Board. Number 33, appointment of chair to the Conservation Board. 34, Appointments to Energy and Environmental Advisory Committee. 35, Appointment to Historic Preservation Board. 36, Appointment of Chair to Historic Preservation Board. 37, Naming of an Architectural Consultant to the Town of Penfield. 38, Naming of Landscape Consultant to the Town of Penfield. 39, Setting Sewer Entrance Fees for 2019. 40, authorization to sign a beaver trapping agreement with Don C. Newcomb. 41, appointments to Watershed Management Committee. 42, purchase of a 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LD 4WD double cab work truck. 43, purchase of a 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LD 4WD double cab work truck. Number 44, purchase of a 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LD 4WD double cab work truck. Number five, uh, 45, purchase of a T870 T4 Bobcat compact track loader. 46, purchase of a 2019 International HV607 six wheel dump truck with salter plow and wing and 47, purchase of a 2019 International HX520 10-wheel dump truck with plow and wing. Mr. Supervisor, before I move this uh, list of proposed resolutions, I did want to um, make a motion for revisions to two of the proposed resolutions, number 46 and number 47. In number 46, um, the vehicle will now be a 2020 dump truck, not 2019. And in resolution 47, the dump truck, 10 wheel dump truck will be a 2020 model, not a 2019 model. And then additionally, thank you, additionally in number 47, the model number should read 620 in two instances, not 520. Okay. All right, uh, there's a motion on the table to amend uh, 046 and 047. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, um, discussion on those uh, two amendments. Uh, is there any discussion by the board? Okay, seeing no discussion, I'm going to call for a roll call vote uh, for the amendments only of uh, 046 and 047. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Thank you. Now I'll recognize Councilwoman Metzler for a motion of those uh, resolutions 032 to 047. So moved. Second. And I'll just make a few comments. Mr. Supervisor, before we proceed with the vote, um, as in the uh, law and finance section with public works as well, we have some routine resolutions that we uh, bring forth uh, each year at our organizational meeting. Um, also, I did want to recognize the residents who are going to be appointed to the various boards, um, sp specifically the boards to which um, I am the liaison. Uh, including the Conservation Board. Um, we thank residents Jim Almstead, Jeff Bartacci, Roseanne Cohen, Bert Gorton, Patricia Schickler, Noel Schlegeter, and Paul Sugnet for their um, willingness to serve on that board. As well, uh, Jim Almstead will continue to be the chair of the Conservation Board. He does a tremendous job. Um, they have a lot of work to do on various projects throughout the year. They divide it up and um, 
I'm certainly happy to sit there and, and listen to all their hard work as they report to the Conservation Board um, their findings. So we thank uh, Jim Olmstead for agreeing to be the chair again. Um, appointments to the Energy and Environmental Advisory Committee, um, chaired by Supervisor LaFountain, um, Sinet Cavallari and Rob, uh, Robert Knauer, Jr., um, as well as um, specific uh, Town of Penfield staff who also um, advise that and, and support that committee. The Historic Preservation Board, um, to which I am also the liaison, uh, Tom Combs and Mike Pignato will be appointed to a term um, expiring December 31st, 2023. And we thank them for um, their commitment to serving on the Historic Preservation Board and the expertise they bring to that board. Uh, Joan Belgerno is going to be appointed chair of the Historic Preservation Board. Um, she has tremendous experience in historic preservation um, and brings a, a lot of knowledge and, and expertise and, and uh, contacts to that uh, Historic Preservation Board. So we thank her for her willingness to continue. Um, also in the public works section, we have our consultants for architecture as well as landscape consultant. Um, we use them from time to time. I think the landscape consultant frequently with respect to um, uh, land, proposed landscape, um, any issues around the town with respect to landscaping, uh, we're able to uh, utilize Bruce Zaretsky and Associates, uh, Penfield uh, resident and Penfield uh, company to advise the town with respect to uh, landscaping. They're a big help to um, developers and, and residents within the town who are looking for some information on landscape consulting. Um, also, we are pointing to the Watershed Management Committee, of which I also serve as the liaison. Um, we have uh, several residents, especially residents with specific professional expertise that we uh, were appreciate their willingness to serve. Um, it's chaired by Mark Valentine, our town of Penfield engineer. Um, also sitting on there, we have various staff from DPW, engineering department, um, myself, Supervisor LaFountain also attends. Um, Edward Freeman, Mike Guyon, Harold Mellers, Mike Simon and Al Bracolo are all residents who serve on that committee. Um, throughout the year. We appreciate their service and their time commitment for that committee. Um, you'll notice that the balance of the resolutions for public works are the purchases, are the purchases of several vehicles, uh, both uh, pickup type trucks as well as a Bobcat and two dump trucks. Um, this will be, certainly they, they will all be well used by our Department of Public Works um, employees and I'm sure that they will be pleased that they're having some new equipment coming. We try to um, spread out the equipment purchases because they are so um, um, cost, um, are so expensive from year to year. Uh, so we also um, are able to um, by spreading that out then we are able to then um, negotiate and try to get um, the best deal we can for the various equipment that's needed by our DPW folks. And I think that's all I have as far as commenting for tonight on these. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, further discussions or comments by the board? Seeing none, then I'd ask our clerk uh, to please uh, call the roll for resolutions 032 through 047. Uh, that will also include uh, the two 46 and 47 that have already been amended. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Number 48 in public safety appointments to the Transportation Committee. 49, appointment of town veterinarian. 50 court enforcement officer appointments and 51 authorization of temporary assignment of judges. So moved. Second. Uh, just briefly on resolution 48, Mr. Supervisor, uh, the transportation committee will be chaired by Councilman Andy Moore. And uh, as is the case with other resident committees, I do want to recognize the hard work of the residents on this committee, Lori Enos, Dan McCusker, and Mary Sweeney as well as town staff Eric Tate, Mark Valentine, Sarah Clauser, and representatives from the Sheriff's Department and Monroe County Department of Transportation. Thank you. 
All right, thank you. Uh, any additional comments um, on, these, on this block of resolutions? Uh, seeing none, I'd ask the, the clerk to please call the roll for resolutions 048 through 051. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. And lastly, community services, number 52. Authorization for supervisor to sign Penfield community television contract. Number 53, appointment of local history room advisory committee. Number 54, authorization for supervisor to sign contract for Dayton's Corner School Coordinator. And 55, policies and procedures for Penfield community television update. I move the resolutions from 52 to 55. Second. Okay. And um, there are three of them that are dealing with citizens that I'll, I'll speak to as well. Um, the appointment to local history room advisory committee, Jan Brayman, Don Nelson, Nasca, Diane Dayton Riley, Margie Salmon, Jay Thompson, and Carolyn Wise. And the Dayton's Corner Schoolhouse coordinators, Barbara Quinn, she's been doing a great job. And this is January 1st, 2019 to December 31st, 2019 for a fee of $3,500. Um, we did not get in our library board appointments from the library board. However, I wanted to thank the person that's leaving the library board, and that's Lynn Maluli. She's done a great job. She's been there three terms. And the library board approved a new member to take her place, but they haven't sent it to us yet, so we can't do the approval. So it'll be coming, and maybe this can be the notice that, to get it in, because we do have a, a good candidate in the wings to be approved. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion on uh, these resolutions? Seeing none, I'd ask for a roll call vote uh, for resolution 052 through 055, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Brings us to old business. Is there any old business to come before the board this evening? Seeing none. Uh, we'll move on to new business, and uh, we'll start uh, with resolution 056, please. Adoption of amendment to chapter 220, vehicles and traffic of the code of the town of Penfield. Moved. Second. Whereas the town board of the town of Penfield wishes to adopt an amendment to chapter 220, vehicles and traffic code of the town of Penfield. Whereas the town board of the town of Penfield held a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall, on January 2nd, 2019 at 7 p.m. on said date tonight to consider said application and to hear all persons interested in the question of the adoption of the amendment to chapter 220, vehicle traffic code of the town. And hearing was closed. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board hereby adopts the following amendment to chapter 220, vehicle and traffic code of the Penfield zoning ordinance. 220-19.1, handicap parking. Um, be it further resolved that the town clerk be is, is hereby directed to post copies thereof and shall within 10 days after such adoption cause the for after amendment or in abstract thereof to be published in a manner prescribed by law. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion. Seeing no discussion, a roll call vote. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Adoption mm -hmm. of an ordinance entitled Registration of Defaulted Mortgage and Vacant Property. Moved. Second. Whereas the town board of the town of Penfield desires to protect the public's health, safety, and welfare of citizens of the town and maintain a high quality of life for the citizens of the town through the maintenance of structures and properties in the town of Penfield. Whereas the town board of the town of Penfield held a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall on January 2nd, 2019 at 7 p.m., that's tonight, to consider, said to consider said proposal and to hear all persons interested in the question of the consideration of the adoption of an ordinance entitled Registration of Defaulted Mortgage and Vacant Property and the public hearing was closed. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board here hereby adopts chapter 260 entitled Registration of Defaulted Mortgage and Vacant Property Ordinance. Chapter 260, again Registration of Defaulted Mortgage and Vacant Property 
Um, in this uh, resolution, it talks about the title, purpose and intent, definitions, um, outlies, you know, property manager, real property, registerable property, um, semi-annual registration, utilities and services, the definition of vacant, um, section on applicability and jurisdiction, along with sections on establishment of registry, uh, section inspection of registration of defaulted mortgages, section titled inspection and registration of real property that is not subject to a mortgage in default, section entitled maintenance requirements, section entitled maintenance secured upon commencement of foreclosed foreclosure proceedings, another section on security requirements, provisions supplemental, section on public nuisance, section on additional authority, uh, sections on opposing, obstructing enforcement officers and penalties to that, um, sections on immunity of enforcement officer, section on administration, enforcement and penalties, along with amendments, codification, and effective date. Pretty uh, uh, comprehensive, I might add. So thank you, Mr. Supervisor, for bringing this forward. And I do think that is the uh, right thing for the town to do uh, moving forward with these type of properties uh, and the impacts they have on the neighborhoods throughout Penfield. Thank you. C certainly um, a lot of effort went into this uh, by staff uh, and our town attorney uh, as well. I think this will be a great tool to our toolbox uh, to help address some of these uh, properties that have fallen into disrepair. Um, I think this is very uh, crucial. Um, uh, we have uh, building zoning and code enforcement uh, department had uh, uh, Heidi Bale uh, with us uh, tonight. It uh, will be her office that will be working closely on enforcing this and uh, working with uh, banks, lending institutions primarily uh, to have these things uh, addressed. So great, great effort by the team and uh, something that I think will definitely help uh, across the town. Further discussion or comments on this? Nope. Seeing none, I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? <clears throat> aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Authorization for supervisor to sign an agreement with Property Registration Champions, LLC. Move. Second. Be resolved that the town supervisor is hereby authorized to sign an agreement with Property Registration Champions, LLC, uh, 2725 Center Place, Melbourne, Florida, to register vacant, abandoned, and foreclosed properties so the town of Penfield can properly address violations of the town of Penfield's property maintenance codes. Said agreement will be reviewed and approved by the Penfield town attorney. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion. I would just like to offer uh, this group um, is a group that's, uh, that's recognized across the country. Uh, they work with a couple of uh, local uh, municipalities uh, at this time. Uh, they have the, the wherewithal, the infrastructure uh, to ferret out and work with all the lending institutions. Uh, while there is a lot of good information in the ordinance, it uh, still requires a lot of uh, phone calls and phone calls and more phone calls uh, to get these items addressed and uh, cleaned up. So uh, this will be a very important piece uh, in working with our building zoning and code enforcement. Additional comments? Okay, seeing uh, none, a roll call vote on this resolution, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? <clears throat> Aye. Five ayes. Thank you. This uh, brings us to, uh, before I go on to uh, the next item, I just, uh, and I was probably remiss in saying this, uh, all of these resolutions tonight, as well as uh, any of the resolutions that come before this board, uh, all can be found on our website. Uh, so those are available. And if there's any uh, particular items that uh, anyone has an interest on, certainly uh, the information uh, is there. Uh, any questions uh, can uh, be vetted out. Uh, with uh, the you know the various uh, departments, uh, whether if it's a planning or zoning item, a building item, uh, finance, uh, et cetera. So uh, I was remiss in saying that, um, and I always like to mention that at our organizational meeting. Uh, the next uh, item on our agenda is public participation. This is the second opportunity to address the board on any matter. And again, you can do that if you're here in the audience. You can call in at 340-8771, or you can log on at penfield.org. Is there anyone that would like to address the board on any matter at this time? 
Okay, uh, seeing none and seeing no further business to come before the board, the January 2nd, 2019 organizational meeting uh, will stand adjourned at uh, 7.47 p.m. I would like to thank everyone that participated. I'd also like to uh, thank and recognize uh, Penfield TV, uh, who uh, supports us on all of our meetings. Thank you, have a great evening, happy new year.